Hello students. Today we will discuss how to calculate the neutralization ratio. So there are many problems, there are many calculations in this acid base and salt chapter. After you watch this video, I can easily say there will be no problem, there will be no doubt in any calculation from this acid base and salt chapter. Okay, now this is the question. Let's read. How much amount of ICL is required to neutralize with 20 gram of sodium hydroxide to produce sodium chloride and water? At first, you have to write down the chemical ratio. Here, ICL plus sodium hydroxide it produce sodium chloride and water. This is the chemical reaction. You need to balance. Here on the rectangle side, two hydrogen, two. Okay. Chlorine one, chlorine one. It's okay, also okay. Sodium one and sodium one. According to this reaction, the reaction is already balanced. Now, after we wrote the chemical reaction, you need to find out the molecular mass of this rectin. Okay, let's find out the molecular mass of this high CL. Molecular mass of HCl. How to find out the molecular mass we have already learned in class 9 standard. So now, I'll tell you again how to calculate. If you want to calculate the molecular mass of HCl, you need to know the atomic mass of the element of that molecule. Here the elements are ice, then hydrogen and chlorine. It's already given in the question. So it's how many ice are here? Only one. So one into atomic mass of hydrogen. Plus how many chlorine here? One. Then one into atomic mass of chlorine is equal to 1 into atomic mass of hydrogen here is 1 plus 1 into atomic mass of chlorine here is 35.5 1 plus 35.5 is equal to 36.5 gram now we got the molecular mass of HCl here is 36.5 gram let's find out the molecular mass of sodium hydroxide also here molecular mass of sodium hydroxide here how, uh, what are the elements present in this molecule sodium oxygen and hydrogen okay let's find out the molecular mass now one into atomic mass of sodium plus how many oxygen are here one 1 into atomic mass of oxygen plus how many hydrogen here? 1. So 1 into atomic mass of hydrogen is equal to 1 into sodium atomic mass is 23 plus 1 into atomic mass of oxygen is 16 plus 1 into atomic mass of hydrogen here is 1 is equal to 23 plus 16 plus 1. Let's sum this number. 6, 9, 10, 1 in hand, 2, 3, 40 gram. Now we get the atomic mass, uh, molecular mass of sodium hydroxide. That is the 40 gram. After we find out the molecular mass, we know that oh, this 36.5 gram of ICL react with the 40 gram of sodium hydroxide it produces sodium chloride and water now the question is how much amount of the ICL is required with this 20 gram of sodium hydroxide this is the question now the question is asking uh, ICL so you need to place this ICL on the right side I will tell you now okay, this side is left hand and this is the right hand side so the question here asking is ICL so keep this ICL on the right side and suppose if the question is asking about the sodium hydroxide 
then keep the sodium hydroxide on the right hand side. Now the question is ICL. So I'll keep here HCl. Uh, and on the left hand side, you have to write down NaOH. And here in the middle, you can write equal to. At first, you have to write down the exact amount of the molecular mass of ICL and sodium hydroxide. Here, sodium hydroxide, how much here? 40 gram of sodium hydroxide is equal to ICL, how much? 36.5 gram of ICL. Instead of this equal to, we can change with another word that is the neutralized with. Neutralize with. Now let's read this sentence. 40 gram of sodium hydroxide neutralized with 36.5 gram of the ICL. So now, if you want to find out for the 1 gram, 1 gram of sodium hydroxide neutralized with 36.5 gram divided by 40 of ICL. This is the answer for 1 gram. Now the question is asking about the 20 gram. So now let's send this 1 gram to 20 gram. 20 gram of sodium hydroxide neutralized with 36.5 divided by 40 into 20 gram of ICL. Let's cut this one. Then 2. What will the answer now? 36.5 divided by 2. 2, 1, 6, 2, 8, or 16, point five, two, two, uh, four, one, zero, five. Now the answer is 18.25 grams. So this is the answer. Now, 18.25 grams of ICL is required to completely neutralize with a 20 gram of sodium hydroxide. Now, if the coefficient is changed, this sodium hydroxide to ICL, then you need to change the left and right side. So in this way, you can easily calculate the neutralization reaction. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video till end.